and welcome back to Darun Grammar School. Don't believe what that Mr Bigger says. I'm not as nasty as he says. He wanted to come back and work full time in our school um, and I think he's going to miss it when he retires. Um, so let's go and find out what's been going on in DGS this week. <laughs> Congratulations to Danielle Finlay, who was successful in getting our art post that I mentioned last in last week's vlog. vlog. She has been appointed full time to replace Mr. Shaw, and we also appointed Leanne Dini, who is currently a art and design teacher in St Stephen's High School in Port Glasgow. She will join us, um, and she will replace Mr. Strathdee when he takes over the post of principal teacher of guidance, the head of house post, um, in August. So we're really looking forward to having her as part of our school community. Also want to congratulate uh, Mrs Campbell, the Deputy Mrs Campbell, who was awarded with her, her Into Headship qualification at the weekend, so congratulations to her. I don't know why she wants to be a head teacher, but uh, good luck to her. <laughs> um, last week saw our school pipe band um, take part in their first competition of the season at Guruk Games. Um, they came fourth out of twelfth, um, a great achievement. Um, they've been working so hard over the summer and I just want to congratulate every single one of them for their performance. Um, the pipers and drummers, they were all superb, so, so well done and I wish them good luck for the rest of the season. On Monday, we saw Brian Costello uh, rejoin us in the, the school. He gave presentations to the new S2 pupils and the new S4 pupils. That was his final presentations of the, se of the year. Um, and he will be rejoining us again next year to work with um, our young people again. He's been um, a great um, input for us, both with uh, parental and uh, pupils. So hopefully um, that will continue next year. Um, on Monday, we also saw our staff take part in a collegiate session which involved them reviewing the school improvement plan. If you remember, I mentioned the principal teachers had been through that exercise and now the, the staff have gone through it and the principal teachers also um, were involved in a different task looking about the, uh, or looking to the future of the new grammar school and kind of setting a number of priorities. So we'll pull all that together and as I said in last week's vlog, we'll be sharing our improvement plan with our carers and partners um, over the course of the next few weeks as well so you can see what our priorities are. On Wednesday, Miss Howitt arranged a Gaelic robotic um, day for our Gaelic pupils and Sandbanks Gaelic pupils. It was a great day. Gary Clark from our Gale House and his team joined us and the young people were involved in some coding. They built robots up and when I popped in, um, they had dancing robots they had coded, um, which was amazing to see to, to music. Staying Alive actually was the, the song that they were doing. I did have a wee dance myself, not as good as the robots though. So thank you to Miss Howitt um, for that. And Miss Howitt will be rejoining our school staff in August, so we're really looking forward to having her back in the Gaelic department. And on Thursday, we held our S2 Citizenship Day again, where emergency, service ca emergency services came in and spoke to our new S3 pupils, um, talking about safety, and then they gave a kind of demonstration of a, a road traffic accident down at the stadium. Um, so thank you to Mrs Thompson and Mr Pearson for arranging that. It's always a great um, day, um, and again, the, the young people um, had a great experience in there. I also want to mention our Italy trip Bikino evening, which is going to take place on the 31st of May. So um, if you're interested, um, contact Mrs Thompson and you can buy a ticket. If you don't know what Bikino is, please Google it. It's great fun um, and come along and join um, and support the Italy trip in there. I'm joined by Tony Hagen today. Tony, um, although he has he's left us, he's still coming back into the school and he's, he's been a great help in the Learning Centre and he's also been a great help around the school, particularly helping with recording um, the vlog on a weekly basis. So Tony, um, you're coming back into school, but what else are you doing? Uh, I do a day for with football. Uh, it, uh, anyways, I do uh, a day for uh, football. So you're helping out with the DYFL? Yeah. Are you doing some coaching? Yeah, coach is uh, me, Paul. Uh, Paul Labber, uh, the coach is me. He's he seen me. They buy tickets, they watch. They come. And um, if last last year at the staff pupil game, Tony managed to score a goal past me. It was a great penalty kick. Are you still scoring the goals, Tony? Yes. Yes. He did miss a miss a team a uh, beat. Oh. M Mr Mitchell team's going to get beat? Yes. Never, Tory, never. Well, thank you so much for continuing to come in and help us. We really appreciate it. Um, and we'll speak to you again before the end of the term. We'll get a wee update from Tony then. OK, thank you. OK.
Next week we have another collegiate session for our staff where they'll be looking at the priorities for the coming session and, and trying to identify and prioritise them. Um, this um, At the weekend, we'll be taking part in the second Benmore Transition Weekend with our Primary Sevens. I'll be there for the whole weekend. I'm really looking forward to meeting them and taking part in some of the activities. Our exams continue and so do our SQA tutorials. We've been updating our Facebook page on a regular basis, on a daily basis. So please ensure you look at that if, if you um, can't remember when your tutorials or you've just forgotten the time of your exam. Look at that and you'll get that information from there. It's also on our website as well. Um, I'm also meeting with the Argyll and Butte project team on Tuesday. Um, the project team are the, the team that help run the, the building for um, for the council. So we're meeting with them and talking about, um, I suppose, the recycling project, etc., that we all have on a, a yearly basis. And myself, Miss Stewart and Mrs Campbell will be visiting our primary schools. Um, I think we're visiting two. We visited one this week and we're visiting another two next week um, to talk to the primary sevens before they come up for On The Move. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll speak to you again next week. Hello, I'm back. I've survived another week of work and I'm absolutely puffed out. This isn't the fun, this full-time working malarkey. But good thing is, 29 days to go. Just 29. Isn't that no magic? Down in the 20s. Great. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was supposed to have a special guest for you, but unfortunately, they sprung a surprise on me, as you know. However, I've got a special guest with me here today. I've got Miss McKillop. You'll recognise her. That even some of your grannies and grandpas might recognise her, because you've been here that long. So, Miss McKillop, what have I asked you along here today? I have no idea. What's, what do you and I have, do I have in common at the moment? Uh, retirement. Retirement. <laughs> that's right. Miss McKillop's got 29 days to go as well. <laughs> Miss McKillop, what would you like to, what are you going to do when you retire? Are you any ideas? Um, I'd like to do some more arts and crafty work. Some arts and I'd craft. like to trace my family tree, see right. where, where I've come from. Uh, you never know, I might pick up a wee job doing something somewhere. Well, there you are. And Good you, and I, you and I could have a few days out together. We could have a few days out together. <laughs> I don't know that nearly be too happy. Well, by the way, but nearly anyway. Is it not? But same as it manage you. Uh, well, maybe. Like Twenty years you've been engaged. <laughs> come on, come on, nearly get a grip. Make an honest woman here, for goodness' sake. Maybe you will. Maybe you will now. Maybe. maybe I'll better maybe. go and get a new hat, a new hairstyle. <laughs> well, that's us anyway. We better go and let you get back to whatever you were doing. So we'll say cheery bye, cheery bye. bye.